Hi everybody, here we have Sheila and Brandy walking down the muddy slipway at the top end of Western Seafront on quite a grey day near the festive season but it was a nice day actually and I'm glad I went down there to explore. This is just one of many of our videos, a type of visual diary of my beautiful Somerset. A whole series of little videos and photos that I've been doing this year, plus music here and there. Don't know if you'll be able to hear this. Right, well, this is Sheila, it's about the 16th of December 2009 and Brandy and I have just been exploring and we've managed to find this path that goes down to the edge of the sea where you get boats and so it's not a very clear day, it's quite um, murky really, I've just met some fishermen who are going to find their shrimps over there I haven't got scenes this far down before and as close. You can see the sea actually moving, it looks quite fast. That's Burnbeck Pier, look. There's the fishermen over there with their buckets. They've had to wade across the water and now across the rocks looking for shrimps. And there's the Royal Pier Hotel, like you've never seen it before. And I'm walking back up this track, so this is just a small video. A Christmas video, and not quite Christmas, but we're leave, leading up to the festive season. Here we've got um, a little trolley thing. When they've come back with their shrimps, they'll load their baskets onto that and... Uh, but it's just beautiful really, imagine it, I've got to come down here again on a sunny day. This is one of Sheila's winter walks, it's nearly winter, a couple of days would be officially winter. They assure me that the tide is going out, 
It was from round about here in the summer that two young men lost their lives. Looks like it's coming in. I don't bloody know. Yeah, they were swimming from somewhere here over there, look. And fell in and got caught. That's why I don't want to fall in now. Because the tide's actually going out. But here's me and Brandy walking along this muddy path. Which needs a bit of repair work doing to it, look. This is where, like, you know, I've been I've been here in the past when the kids were small. We had a boat, we went out around Steep Home. And we walked down this pathway down to the um it's very muddy i've got to be very careful not to slip in the distance you've got the pier really coming in, into shape now um and of course a view of the royal pier hotel which was <sighs> caught fire famous pier beetles have stayed in it lots of famous people had a huge ballroom with a chandelier and everything. The first hotel to be built in Western Supermare in a very strong position, dominating the skyline. It can be seen from a long way off. It can be seen from Breen Down Easy. It stands out and it's such a, I think it's a magnificent classic building myself. And I don't not think it should be demolished. It's a classic building, it looks a bit tatty, it needs a bit of paint. It's all it needs, it's, it's built on solid foundations, look at that. Like a fortress it's built on. Alright, I'm just walk, looking back round again now, slowly. The fishermen are right over there. There's Burnbit Pier that we hope will be rescued one day. On those spindly little legs. Brandy's getting a bit fed up. Go on, Bram. Well, it is cold today and she's got muddy paws. But um, she'll be right in a minute because we're going up, back up in the wood. I just thought I made a diversion. I saw the tide was out and I saw this path. I thought, oh, let's do something different. Um, but I will come down here again in the, on a sunny day because not everything's going to come out on the video on this muddy day. You can. I saw them walking along on those mud flats a minute ago. You can walk out there. That's where they put their fishing nets. That's the Bristol Channel. There's Breen Down over there. Of course, the Bristol Channel leads out into the Atlantic. You can't see Steep Home. That shows how misty it is today. I, I can make out the, the shadow of it. Look at Brandy walking in that mud. Look. Look at Brandy. Look at that. Slurp, 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 slurp. No, no. Oh, it's fun. It's like my chocolate. It's not too windy. That's why we're saved today. Because it isn't really too windy. You can see a man walking along the pier over there. Isn't it beautiful though, isn't it? I was thinking a minute ago how lucky I am to live here, really. Imagine... London's got all those lovely museums, buildings and it's full of my family history and graves and burial grounds <clears throat> but look at this this is magnificent we've got it all to ourselves in the winter that's what I love about it there's somebody up there having a barbecue or she roasting chestnuts or something why not it's the time of year in it it's, like I said, it ain't too bad out here. They forecast snow. Some people have got snow today. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, um, news. Afghanistan, yeah, three more soldiers were killed in a... It was either a suicide bomb or, or an ambush. I can't remember which now. Yeah, three more. That makes 103. Oh, look at that rock down there. Very... Uh, very round one up. That'd be nice up nice much round rock there. Yeah, sad and it keeps going on, see. They are getting more Chinook helicopters, twenty more, but they won't get them all till two thousand and twelve because they have to be adapted. 
what else is going on in the world? Yeah, the Prime Minister of Italy got smashed in the face. He's still in the hospital. Uh, someone with mental health problems hit him in the face with an ornament of um, Milan Cathedral. Yeah, that was nasty, that was. He lost two teeth, he's got a broken nose. Just to add a bit of news, at the same time as doing the lovely video of Burnbet Pier, the Royal Pier Hotel, as you can see some of the fire damage there. People are still getting in there, I think. There's a pub up there called the Captain's Cabin where you can sit out there. Nice